Hello everybody and welcome to another vlog. Today it's me Pierre Farrugia and I am in Mosta. Exactly at Wittel Asel. Asel means honey, so it's the valley of honey. Today we're going to go inside the valley and we're going to visit the chapel there. That is the chapel of St. Paul the Hermit, which has a nice legend to it. The view is amazing here and today I'm going to do something different with Normally I do normal, I go down from there and walk all the way. Today I'm trying to go down with the cliff and hopefully find a way to go and visit that nice chapel there. Okay. I'm also going to test the Zolio Cradle, which I got this week. Instead of having the SOS device dangling yet, it will be here at Tejdara, no more dangling. And hopefully it will be better since I scramble a lot and go down. Sometimes it's dangling and hitting the floor. And by the way, as usual, thank you Zolio for uh, sponsoring this vlog. But now, let me show you a little bit how beautiful this valley is. Eh? I saw a couple of videos here of my friend, Englishman in Malta. He has a lot of videos eh, here because he's been all over the, the Malta and since he always gives me shout out, it's fair enough, I give him a shout out, go and visit him. Englishman in Malta, he does a lot of videos about Malta and he's funny as well eh? and I like his foodies uh, channel. He never invites me to eat him, eh? I have to make him invite me. Eh? But let me show you a little bit how beautiful this valley is. I am on top of the valley, there are, is a few ferrat and I don't think you can see there's a man in the middle of the cliff going up. Eh? I am amazed by these people who do rock climbing. Eh? But today's adventure is going to be that beautiful chapel there. Eh? There is uh, the fort here, uh, Fort Mosta. But I have to uh, find a way to go down there now. Eh? But I think I know from where I'm going to pass. Eh? There's the touches there are very nice that I think are part of the Victoria Lines because the Victoria Lines passes down there, goes down there, and I think it continues something up there. There's stairs, are how amazing it is. But now, let's make our way down right there. Here I find the patara that once I used long time ago, which I'm going to try to go with it now. It's going to be a little bit rugged, but for me it will be most beautiful. Eh? And the views will not disappoint eh, either from up here. But let's start going down. Today is for six winds, although now I think the more I'm going down, the less wind I'm getting here, so it's positive. Until now here has been very easy to climb down. It's like there's a path here that uh, uh, many people are using to go climbing. I just met a guy, a very nice guy called Nick. And he's going to do some rock climbing here. Eh? Hopefully later I have some time and I go to visit him because I like rock climbing. Eh? Although I never did it. But he also even told me about a club in Malta, a rock climbing club in Malta that do uh, for starters because me. I don't have any experience and uh, Wednesday I think they do something for us. I have to go on their website and check eh? because it's very interesting. And let me show you the road that I'm doing now eh? and also how beautiful the view is eh? from here. Let me show you. This is the view of the valley from here. Look how nice. This is the chapel we have to go eh? and here. It's the kind of terrain I'm doing, yeah? So this part here, I think, it's better I look a little bit the camera. Ah. I'm trying to find the best way to go from here. Oops, I got caught with the backpack. Ah. That's why you have to take care, because if your backpack gets close to something, it can easily throw you off balance. And uh, if you fall from here, it can be dangerous. Eh? But then now, it's not that difficult. 
as I always say, you do it slowly and you do it smart, yeah? Take care not to slip. But then now, uh, even with the camera on hand, I'm not having problems. I'm still climbing down here. It's not difficult, uh, but one have to take care because it could be slippery. But as you see here, you can find even like steps. Eh? Oops! And that was a big oops. Eh? I told you it's slippery. <laughs> I was lucky. I, I stopped. Eh? But here was not so uh, high. If I slip as I did, I will stop. And this is the way I'm moving forward. Eh? And it's beautiful this way. Eh? We have the chapel there. How nice it is. It's not going to be a long walk today because I went straight to the chapel. But it's nice. Now I just removed one layer because here is not so windy and I was feeling hot because the temperature today is 18, eh? but up there with the wind. I was feeling very, very cold. Maybe because I was not hiking. I should have listened to many people who say, be bold, start cold, something like that it is. That you start cold, but then when trekking, the temperature will be okay. And here is very interesting. Look here, how beautiful it is, that is very. It's an amazing place yeah, here. And there's a lot of caves. Many of them I think could be reached when they do rock climbing, yeah, that's interesting for me. Although my physique being so heavy is not ideal for rock climbing. One can feel the wind here, but it's not as strong as up there. There are this part here. I did all the way up here. It's called the MC Adventures Via Ferrata. I will link my video at the end, eh? but now I either go this side or this side, and since the chapel is up there, I have to go this side. Eh? I know it can be obvious, but don't come here when it's raining, eh? because this valley can be very dangerous, as all the valleys, because the water will pass from here. Eh? I think now is the time I start giving you some details about the legend of this chapel where is the chapel for Saint Paul the Hermit. The legend goes like this. There was a man living here that he was like either a priest or a religious person, let's say it, a religious person. But the farmers here, they thought that uh, he's not religious at all, but maybe had connections even with the devil. Eh? So, what they wanted to do is, they wanted to test him. Actually, it was not testing him, but it was uh, a trap. What they did, they did find a lady which has no morals, so she can undress in front of him. And then, if he helps her, he will be uh, like trying to abuse of the woman and maybe like sexual something and they can judge him. If he doesn't help her because she's nude, then they will say that he is not a, a spiritual person or a holy person because he is, uh, he doesn't do any charity with the lady. So that was the plan and that was what they did. So the lady came and got naked in front of this man and since he was a good man, he helped her. The farmers came and accused him of sexual like harassment, let's say, and uh, he had to flee this place and he flew that side, going to the sea. When they nearly catch with him at the sea, they say that he removed his mantle, put it under him, and he like flew away to Gozo. When the farmers saw what happened, then 
they soon change their mind and they uh, say that if he done something like this and they know that they, they did a trap for him that he must be a holy person so then uh, like a sorry they built this beautiful chapel here uh, to honor him and they did it in this cave which makes it more amazing eh? but now there's the stairs I think it's somewhere there that I have to go to find and start going up as usual people especially from Mostan from over Malta if you know something better because I'm not an expert in these things please comment below and let me know what are your views eh? Uh, from these vlogs, I'm always learning something new, eh? which is amazing because a lot of people love history. Eh? Let me find a path that I can go to the stairs. Normal, it's very easy because since many people pass from here, there will be no vegetation and most probably women are there. Oops. Here, uh, there is a path. Eh? to that beautiful chapel. I take care not to fall. And the chapel is up there inside that cave. What me? I'm moving here. See, there's the potter. Here's the valley bed. And there is the stairs which I can go up to that place there. Now I nearly arrived at my destination, at the chapel of St. Paul, the Hermitage. How nice it is. And from here, you can see Mosta Bridge. For those who doesn't like to be as adventurous as going down the cliff there, which is not so hard, eh? one can go. There is the Mosta Bridge, a little bit more, and then trek here, which is easy and uh, suitable for all ages and all the family. Now it's very hot. Eh? I remove the hood and the jacket I removed before. Look how beautiful it is. A chapel inside the cave. Eh? And there are lots of pigeons here. Yeah? Look how nice, eh? amazing, and this is the view of the valley once again from up here. In front there is where I came down, that is the Mosta Bridge up there, it's the first of all. Yeah, let's visit here first, this is the grotto or formation here. But let's see. Here is a canal to channel water. Most probably to go into this well. And there's a well full of water here. Pretty interesting. The closing. It looks a little bit old. This well. The water will come. Here we can see there is a marbat. Marbat, a Maltese is to tie. This is where they use to tie animals here. Although it looks a little bit more recent, this one. Then we have this one here. I don't think I saw it before. But now let's check uh, 
this beautiful chapel here. As always, it has a non god the Lum, 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 Lumunita Ecclesiastica. Sorry about my tongue. But stuck, look how beautiful it is. And maybe we can have a look inside. Wow, how nice it is. Beautiful at this church. There's a painting, I assume, of St. Paul Hermit. I don't know if this ever is open. Some metal work here. And here, the, the, the one that I was telling you about, that I see many times. And here is another thing, which is interesting. There's another door here. Let's see if I can see something else. Right. Even the floor, how nice it is. There's another altar there. We have these ceilings. Very, very nice. Eh? Here is saying that there's a label here. And here is saying these two paintings uh, of Madonna da Grazia and St. Paul the Hermit at Petrum Sir George Apaf in 1993. And they are a copy. Eh? And here there's something else that I wanted to show you, apart from this magnificent cave here. And those of you look here, maybe they were digging something here. I don't know if this old, but it looks that they used to do make fires here. But it doesn't look on the floor. There have been any fires. And something also interesting from here. Here I saw. I don't know if I can see. Yes, you all know. Ah, uh, look. Up there. There's a statue of Our Lady. Eh? Holy Lady. And this is the view from here of the chapel. Eh? How nice it is. Eh? Even the views. Eh? Hope you enjoyed this vlog here about this beautiful chapel here built inside the cave. Apparently I was reading that before this chapel uh, there was another one and was built upon this one was built upon the old chapel. Uh, it was neglected for a time and then it was restored as it should be. Yeah? And it's a beautiful landmark here. Even you can see it from the road. So now I have to trek back. Then I will have to climb up that uh, steep section there. And I go, I have the car somewhere there. Eh? But it has been a very nice vlog. Eh? And here. I am safe from the wind, eh, which is very, very good. Eh, because up there, I was feeling cold and there was a lot of wind. Going up this part here, there is stairs, so it's very easy. Let's give a better last look. From every angle you see it, it's different that's, and it's nice. And maybe now I go and see what these people are doing here. Eh? But I will not film them, because I don't want to annoy them. And now we are going to the valley bed again. We are going down these steps, which is pretty easy, this part. That bridge there, I did a zip line, eh? very nice. It's from MC Adventures as well. And those, as I told you, there's a zip line there and there's a Via Ferrata on that wall, eh? which is Amazing to do. But now let's continue. This marks the end of my vlog. As usual, I must uh, thank Zolio, SOS device and satellite communicator for sponsoring my vlogs. Also, the cradle, a big thumbs up, as if I don't have nothing, like not like before. Dangling, I'm liking more this one. Eh? So Zolio, 
big thumbs up. Also, please like and subscribe. And even if you comment, you will be helping me with YouTube. Um, and I remind you that only 20% of you that uh, see my videos are subscribed, which is a, a pity. Doesn't cost you anything, but will help me a lot. And big thank you to all those uh, viewers that I have that they comment on every video and I consider them my friend and that I owe them a beer and one day hopefully we can meet up. Last thing, you can follow me now even on Instagram which I post some nice photos and I post some shorts as well on TikTok. Eh? They are Pierre Farrugia Malta. And until next time, bye bye. Eh?